Welcome to Teleview's virtual NEF booth. I'm David Nagler, president of Teleview Optics and NEF goer since the first show in 1991. It really is a shame we can't meet at NEF because NEF presents such a great opportunity for you to look at and handle our eyepieces, our telescopes, and our accessories, and gives us just a great opportunity to discuss how our products can help your amateur astronomy. Now, I can't answer all the questions alone. Neither could my father, Al, nor I handle all the questions alone. So at NEEF, you'd also meet a nice representation of our staff. First, we have my wife, Sandy, who's vice president of the company and runs the office like clockwork. We have Rick, our operations manager, who started with us actually building telescopes. So he certainly can answer any of the questions on the production of the telescopes. He knows the eyepieces as well, since he's constantly bringing them in, even during this crazy COVID time. We also have some amateur astronomers as well that you meet. We have John, who inspects eyepieces for us, uh, is an avid astrophotographer, uh, as well as visual observer. And like I said, he inspects eyepieces, so you can ask him eyepiece questions all day long. We also have Peter, who's our blogger extraordinaire. That's his main focus at Teleview, but he also can answer eyepiece questions, telescope questions, and general use questions because of his amateur astronomer background. If you don't subscribe to the Teleview blog, shame on you. Go to teleview.com and sign up now. So what we'd like to do, in order to give you just a little flavor of that interaction at NEEF, we asked our blog readers to su submit us questions as if we were at NEEF. And we'll give you the answers to questions in upcoming videos. So we welcome Steve as our first visitor to the Teleview booth. Steve has an 8-inch SCT and he loves our 100-degree ethos eyepieces. In fact, he'd like an ethos that gives the max true field like a 41 panoptic or 55 plossal. Well Steve, unfortunately we just can't do that and maintain all of the performance characteristics we work so hard on achieving in the ethos design. And the main reason is, as you'll see on the 21, is the inside diameter restricts how large the field lens can be. And with this restriction, if we were to make a longer focal length, then we would have an amount of vignetting that we just would not find acceptable in an ethos eyepiece. 